Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Trial Irish Gaming. Today we have Pokemon Randomizer Real Edition, Episode 33. It's time for the Elite Four, the champion, and possibly be the final episode if we win. I thought I would start a recording earlier. I stepped in. You see it says you heard doors closing. Yeah, I wasn't recording. I even went over the whole team. Now, the team you see down below. But let's actually talk about it, right? Well, you kind of see the team there, obviously, too. But... I trained, and I wanted to make sure almost every Pokemon was level 50. Under the Rock is very close to level 50. But let's go over the team we are taking into the Elite Four. First off, Arceus. Thank Arceus. Uh, I like his wide range of moves, Psychic, Bug, Fire, Dark. Uh, I gave him the Expert Belt, mainly because I felt like that was our... I just accidentally backed out. I grabbed the controller the wrong way. I set it down, and of course, this is what happens. But, right? Mist Ball, X Scissor, Flame Burst, Speed Up. They're all good moves, and I'm very happy. And with the Expert Belt, you know, we are going to be in a good situation. Sorry, guys, I was going over Arceus. I thought I heard something outside. It's people talking. Got distracted. Sorry. Um, but yeah, we fa I did not know. We found a weakness policy at some point. Or maybe I did it when I went to go sh look at items when I was training. I think that's it. I found weakness policy as I was training. So I slapped it on to Kirov just because I feel like he's one of the mons that can use the most advantage of it. Uh, Sacred Flame, Thousand Waves, Dark Void, Glaciate. We never got a biting move, which sucks, but, you know, we do what we can. Precious Snake, technically no longer Snake. Primordial Sea, Nullifies Fire type tax. I gave him the Rocky Helmet. Uh, Diamond Storm, Bullet Punch, X as a Roost. We can just keep healing him. He can just be a beast. Uh, worth it. We got him to level 50, not exactly where I'd want to be. I gave him the Quick Claw because Bloody Slam, Wake Up Slap, Zap Cannon, Quiver Dance. If we can get a Quiver Dance up, hopefully Quick Claw pops because everything's going to be really higher than this. Tyrantrum makes a return. I felt like he was our best option. Who guards? No guard. Tyrantrum. Gave him the Power Urd mainly for... What was it? Free Shock? I think it was Free Shock. But yeah, Shadow Forest, Diamond Storm, Earth Power. It's solid. And then under the rock gave him air balloon. He has trace, mist ball, land ray, storm throne, death, and gleam. If I do not have to use under the rock, no guard, uh, who guards, and worth it, we'd be in good position. I'm really expecting these three to hard carry. While I do like their movesets, I do feel like Arceus has the most coverage, and I had to do what we could with the um, items. Now, I did go around to all the shops and everything make sure i could check everything there is one problem that i forgot when i stepped in we did not buy uh yeah like any pp restore or anything like that so i could be in danger i may have to really make use of berries here i'm already in i can't back out so here we go guys i am gonna have put the pokemon database up uh i want to try to be confident now I remember correctly, this is the fire, or is it earth? Or ground, earth, oh my god. Yeah, this is, I think, the ground gym, right? Let me actually bring up what their team was supposed to be. So, Mega Ruby Elite Four, because I looked it up before. So, Sydney, the first one's actually a dark type originally. So, what has he been randomized into is the question. Because he's been randomized into something, but we just don't know what yet. So, it's time to find out. Here it goes, guys. Remember, Pokemon, the only one that is in danger is Dragonite, who has only two lives left. And if any Pokemon does get three Xs in this area, well, that's it. They're, they're done. We won't be able to even revive them. If Pokemon goes down here, we can use a revive, but... Is my camera okay? My camera looked glitchy for a sec. Ooh. Anyways, hopefully that's just nothing. All right, here we go. Roselia, hold on. Is Roselia pure typing? Roselia is grass poison, so this can either be a grass. We'll just flame burst either right here. But it's either grass or a poison. It's either switch from dark to grass or poison. So, I mean, he had Cacturn and Shiftry on his team, so maybe he kept the grass. Obama Snow is ice grass. 
So we, uh, or technically grass eyes, reverse that. But so he should be in very good range. Yeah. No. Okay. If this is grass, or this is going to be perfect because Arceus is flame burst can take him out. Oh, level fifty one Tyrantrum. There we go. Uh, Trico. I do love Trico. I'm sorry, buddy. I am going to have to absolutely flame burst you. So, yeah, Arceus should be killing all of these, especially since he has 10 plus levels against these guys. Later on, it might not be this close, but we'll find out. Or it might be more close. Or, uh, Rayquaza goes up. Hey, a Shaman. Okay. Uh, oh, it's Shaman regular form. Mold Breaker Shaman. It's not Sky form, so Flame Burst should sure take care of this. Nice and simple. Oh, no, we have a Survivor. Water spout. That lowers my fire. Yeah, firepower was weakened. So we have to go X scissor here. I think full restore. Yeah, I think two X scissors probably should kill, though. I don't think one does. He might act if it takes him below. Yeah, that he's probably going to full restore again. We'll just X scissor again. Yeah, there's the second full restore. I think they have two or three. Oh, we're about to find out because unless this is a crit. Yeah, or a super high roll. No, okay, only two. All right, we take out Shaman, and there should still be one Mon. So this was Grass. Arceus goes level 61. That's big for a lead Mon. Everyone else gained some experience. Ivysaur, no, my OG starter. I love Ivysaur. If I could get a life-size Ivysaur plush, oh, I would in a heartbeat, man. Okay, well, let's just... Oh, no, no, no. We have to X scissor, I think, because the thing is still up, isn't it? Minimize. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to flame burst here. Yeah. And I'll take care of it. I'm so glad I remember water spout. Oh, I was about to click a fire move and I like paused. I was like, wait a minute. Why was, you know, why was I not using... A fire move because of water spout. So we're fine now. We won our first matchup, guys. Um, there's not even anything to heal, right? We're safe here just to make sure. But yeah, Arceus didn't take a single point of damage, did he? That's a perfect start. Oh, this might be too easy. Uh oh. No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh. Literally one of my favorite entrances and one of my favorite Elite Fours of all time. Phoebe is adorable. Love her. Love her. She's also usually a ghost type, so it'll be interesting to see what she has here. So, because all these Pokemon have been randomized, so she may not even be a ghost. You know, she could technically still get ghost. But yeah, here she is. Here's Phoebe. All right, so let's see what she has in store. Because usually Arceus would be a pretty bad walk into this fight. But we're about to find out if he is. Will I take damage this time is the big question. I mean, he did gain a level, so he might be even more of a great lead than before. Okay, here we go, guys. Look at her. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay. And here's our second of the lead four. And wait, hold on. Duskull is just a ghost type. She re she re got ghost. Cause usually she has a Dusclops and a Dusk Nor, but now she just has okay, okay. So here I think we need yeah, beat up is our go to move, and this goes off the attack of all of our guys, so Oh, we, oh, that crit was big. Yeah, we should easily kill this dust, dust skull. There we go, guys. Wrap that up. All right, so she is ghost. And, uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. Thunder is in level 50. Sableye. Hold on. Sableye is usually a part of her thing. So she got Sableye back with Terravolt. Oh, except Sableye is, what, dark, ghost dark? So... Dark moves are normal. Psychic won't hit anything. Fire is normal and 
X scissors. Yeah, all are neutral. Let's just beat up. Oh, that's not doing as much as I want. Oh no, this thing's gonna survive. That is not good. Unless you get a big crit at the end. No, it's gonna live. Horn attack. Okay, uh, let's try X scissor. Let's see how much X scissor does. I have full restore, I knew it was coming. That's fine. Let's see how much X scissor does. X scissor. Two hits. Okay, we're good. We're good. Minimal damage onto Arceus. That's great. So we know it's ghost. So, ooh, a Litwick. Uh, Litwick is just pure ghost. So, yeah, so we just beat up. There we go. Yeah, we're beating up a little candle, guys. I feel bad. Okay. And Litwick goes down. Um, so Litwick, I don't know. It's probably the replacement for one of the bayonets. And so we are good. And is she sending out another Litwick? Well, each Pokemon is supposed to be randomized, but she does have two bayonets. So her having two Litwicks is... No, each Pokemon should have been completely individually randomized. So her having two Litwicks just because she usually has two bayonets doesn't make any sense. But I guess if, she, if there's only a limited number of ghost types, so I guess it makes some sense, but okay. So I believe those were the 51, so the next should be the big 53 replacement, right? And it's a third Litwick? Yeah, what the hell? What's the chances of the randomizer giving three of the same ghost type? I mean, I know ghost isn't the most populated thing, but having access to, you know, all the ghost types, that's kind of weird. Whoa. But three Litwicks makes for easy finishing, and Arceus barely took any damage here. And just like that, we are two out of four done, guys. And next one will be Glacia, who usually is an ice type. But I mean, technically Phoebe just got re-rolled to a um to a ghost type. I mean, should I restore health? And it's only a little bit of damage, but if I have a, a berry that restores HP. Yeah, that'll be enough. Just, you know, just in case. So we'll save now that we've done that. And we'll keep moving. Just in case the game crashes, guys, want to be safe. So Glacia usually has ice types. The question is, will she have ice types this time? Um... Big question. Oh, I didn't realize her team's that repeated. She has two Glalies, two Frost Lasses, and then a Raw Rain. So I wonder if she'll have two of the same Pokemon twice, or if the randomizer are completely random. Well, I guess it depends on the type. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to keep the Pokemon database up so I can make sure I nail this fight because we do not want to lose, guys. We want to keep winning, and we haven't lost a life yet. No mons have gone down. Let's see what she has. So she has... <sighs> Sends out Sharpedo. Sharpedo is what? Water? He's something else, isn't he? He's water dark. So either this is... Man, the audio keeps cutting out. Is everything okay? Something's going on with this episode, guys. Sorry if it's weird. I don't know. I keep hearing audio, audio interference. But, okay, so... x Scissor should be really good here. Um... So let's do x Scissor. See if it hits or takes out one hit. It might, and it does. Okay, good. So the question is, is she water or is she dark? Water and ice would be kind of a funny, you know... And Scraggy, no, Scraggy is not. Scraggy's what? I know he's dark, obviously. He's dark what? Dark fighting. Oh, it's, yeah, so he's a little one. So 
Beat up, want to do much. Miss ball, want to do anything. Flame burst is neutral. Same with X scissor. I guess just, just let's X scissor here. See if it does kill. I mean, he doesn't have the best defense. He survives. Bigger horn. Okay, a little bit of damage. Didn't we just take a horn attack earlier? All oh, the sand damage is going to get annoying. We've only been hit by two horn attack things. Okay, no, Scraggy just goes down. Not worth the full restore, I guess. All right, that's two Pokemon down, and now we know 100% it is a dark type that she switched to. Water would have been funny, because then I could have made, like, melted ice jokes. You know. Carvana is, again. What, what, no, he's not water, is he? He's rock dark, if I remember correctly. Water dark, no, he is. Okay, so just like Sharpedo, goes down. And we're gonna take some sand damage, which is unfortunate. And then Shift Tree. So Shift Tree is four times a week to, yeah, to bug. So X Scissor should just kill easy here. Yeah, it does, okay. And then the last one is, oh God, the sand is going to be annoying. It's Dunky. Oh, that's Guntank's uh, pre-evolution. Yeah. Butt face. Yeah, an x should easily kill this thing in one hit. It survived. Oh. oh now I kind of want to somehow draw out this battle. Sandstorm subsides. I gain some health back. It gains some health back. I guess I'll save x scissors uh i have two left for it so let's just flame burst here this should kill and that saves two x scissors just in case we come across a dark type in uh down the road all right tantrum level 52 that's good and there we go we have won the third member of the elite four and technically the champion at the end all right, so we're gonna keep moving. And so the fourth one, okay, not gonna lie. Originally, when I first played Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, right? Like when it just came out, I completely forgot Drake was the fourth one. So when I saw the lava and I saw the fire, I was like, oh man, it's a fire type gym leader. And then I was like, yeah, look at all the flames. And then I thought, why does it have a, a marrow rack slash cubone skull? on top of its emblem and then as i approached i was like oh wait i remember drake's a dragon guy so yeah so which uh i guess i should heal up we're just gonna use these berries because if we do wrap this up here guys um yeah, we're not going to be doing another episode because with the randomizer not randomizing legendaries, I have no point really wanting to do the Rekraza stuff. So, yeah. So, here we go. Drake. Five Pokemon. Uh, four at 53, one at 55. And he usually has dragon types. So, let's see what he has. Did he reroll dragon? Did he get something? Fire would be funny after me making the fire comment. All right, come on, Drake, fire type. Show me Dr fire type. So, um, wait, Pharaoh. Pharaoh's what, flying, just flying? No, flying normal. He could have got normal. Interesting. I keep hearing the game cutting out. I'm cutting out. What the hell is going on? And I see no errors with anything. Okay, I just hope I have to burn this too fast. Um, what is going to hit here? Bug is going to be half. Dark is not going to be all that helpful. I guess let's flame burst and hope to burn. That did nothing. Shell smash. All right, so Pharaoh has pretty boar spadaf. So maybe I should miss ball. Hypnosis. Oh, this bird's going to be annoying. Okay. Fast asleep. Smoke screen. Wait. 
This thing's gonna be hell of annoying. I might actually, but this is gonna increase my attack. I probably should use beat up. You shell smash again. So your defense and special defense is low as all hell right now. And my attack's up. If I can land a hit, yeah, this should be over. Oh, easy dead. Pharaoh was annoying, man, but yeah. So this thing does have reverse accuracy right now because it's been smokescreened twice, I believe. Oh, here I'm good to level 63. Goal bat, so hold on a minute. So it's flying types. So part of me knows that ice is effective against, I. Uh, who is it that has, I believe this is the one God, it's making that audio thing again. Is something wrong? I'm concerned right now. So yeah, I should have Glaciate on this thing. I do, Glaciate should, if everything's flying, Glaciate should just wipe the uh, rest of this battle out. And I don't think we took any damage, did we? I mean, something could still survive. Arcus crew to hold 62. That's cool. Swello, okay, Swello should easily fall. Glaciate. Grassy terrain. Well, the flying types don't get grass terrain because you have to be on the ground, right? So all this does is heal whichever mon I have in. So that takes out Srello. What is this battle? Okay, so so far, level 52, worth it. Great crosses goes up. Uh, Togekiss. God, Glaciate is gonna... Wait, hold on a minute. Toga Kiss is very right. So I still, yeah, it still does two times. Nothing else there does as much. Oh, a little bit of damage, a little punch in the face. Weakest policy does pop. So now, there goes Toga Kiss, really thing. And right now, Kirim is one of our strong, well, probably our just straight up strongest. Uh, level and oh, and it heals. God, this is so good for us. Yveltal. Wait. Yveltal is just gonna take this glacier in the face, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And just like that, we win. And we get the little top off with the healing. No. Okay. That's fine. I mean, we wiped that out without taking anything really damage-wise. So all that's left is the champion, Steven, who who knows what he has. I do have to be wary of what I send out. I don't think I have any, like... <sighs> okay, so hold on. First off, we're gonna save and we're gonna look at our Pokemon, guys. Because right now, this champion battle means everything, right? So I have to look at what our current situation is. Only two X scissor, four beat up, seven. He's in our right position. We use a bunch of Glaciate, but everything else on all other mons should be fine. Do we have anything to restore the Oh, weakness policy gets burnt when used. Oh, this isn't like online battles where Okay, so what do we have for you? Um we have something for powering up ice moves. Stronger. Um. Man, I almost feel like we don't have anything. Maybe we just give it an, uh, a berry. Poison, Paralysis. Ooh, the Lepa looks pretty good. Mm. Normal type, physical hits the Pokemon holding attack will also be hurt. You know, let's give it the... Yeah, let's give it the that Jabroka Berry. I think that works. Uh, weakness policy did come in clutch in that last battle. 
But yeah. Oh yeah, I was looking for if any we have any PP restoration. Of oh, and we have a max elixir. Okay, so we are good. Wait, how's everyone's health? I think everyone's fine, actually. All right, so we're good. We're full up. Let's go take on the champion, guys. <sighs> that Yaval Tol. I think weakness policy came in clutch. I'm pretty sure maybe without it, it could have possibly survived. I don't know. But weakness policy helped clear that without us taking damage. And we have not lost any lives. Which means if Pokemon goes down this battles, we can use one of the lower levels as a revive heal mon, stall for a turn or something. You know, so I'm okay with this. Here we go. Guys, this could be it. This could be the absolute end of the first season of Pokemon Randomizer Real Edition. If we beat Steven. Cause, yeah. So let me see here. He obviously has six mons. The biggest thing is, will he be able to have something decent, right? So Arceus is our lead, which is a great lead. He has ride coverage. Here we go, Steven, Pokemon League champion. And he goes out to Latias. So Latias. Is it the website I'm using? Is that causing like an encoding of I just saw it pop up. It said encoding overloaded for like a split second. Why is it still affecting it though? Okay, so he either has, oh no, all of his Pokemon will be random types. So I don't have to think about this. Okay, so okay. X Scissor is trice, uh, beat up is double. Flame Burst doesn't do anything. That's half, Psychic doesn't do anything. So, what do I do here? I think let's just try to beat up and see how much it does. Oh, this might not kill. Oh, maybe that's three hits. Four, five. It does. We take out Latias. Oh, the last one was a crit just for insult injury. Okay. Okay. Crobat. Interesting. Hold on a minute. So looking at Crobat, because I just want to make sure we win this battle. We do have Psychic. So Crobat only has 80, you know, so Miss Ball could do work here. So let's see if we can't take him out. One hit, almost. Oh, but we get the special attack lower. Hydro Cannon. Okay. And we Miss Ball. This does take out Crobat. So Arceus has taken two out of the six Mons down. That's fantastic for us. Okay. Tyrantrum goes to level 53. Heal Pulse, not helpful for us right now. We're gonna just say no thank you on that. Victini. So Victini. Psychic Fire. So do we have a good attack on this thing? We do, we have the dark. It has a hundred all across the board though. So I don't know if beat up will kill, but we will try. No, it's not gonna kill. Actually, I'm kind of hoping this does just a little under half. Oh no, it's gonna, he's gonna full restore. Blue flare. Okay, so Victini has some pretty strong moves. Oh, he gets the burn. That is horrible for us. Yeah, you do the full restore. We're going to have less attack here. This is going to do a little bit less, but I don't... Because the beat-up uses attack from other mons, so it's only our first hit. A crit there will kind of counteract. Oh no, this is way lower. God, this is not good. Arceus might go down here. Um, let's just beat up again. We're gonna need some major crits. I don't like this burn. 
No, yeah, this... He's gonna full restore after this again. <sighs> Fire spin. Okay. Damn, dude. This Victini's annoying. It's going to full restore, and Arceus will go down here, guys. Unfortunately, Arceus will go down. Um, and we know this isn't going to kill, which is unfortunate. But we can bring it down at least partway to halfway and set up our next one. And we get a clean switch. Arceus, however, does lose a life. Uh, let's actually move that life over. There we go. Arceus has lost life. I think we bring in Kiram here. And this may sound strange, but it's mainly for Thousand Waves should kill. It does. Okay. Victini is no longer a problem. All right, can we wrap this up? And Kiram grows to level 64, so he's even stronger than before. Dynamic punch. Oh, no, not for that much. Yo, but you know, if I got that Tyrantrum, man, that'd be sick. All right, so guys, Heracross is next up. Uh, Heracross doesn't stand much of a chance because all we have to do is Sacred Flame it, right? There goes Heracross, and just like that, he's down to two last mons. Hold on, can we do this? A Geodude? Snow warning. Well, that doesn't help Geodude at all. It helps me, though. Let's Glaciate, actually. I'm feeling icy, so let's pop Glaciate here. That kills. You know, and we know we're not going to be affected by the hail. Mr. Mime is his last Pokemon. Hold on a minute. Can we win it here? Let's just Glaciate, because we can. And half health, get the speed fall. He roars. What? Okay, he brings out Dragonite, who Primordial Sea clears the hail and makes sure fire attacks don't work. I mean, hell, let's Diamond Storm. I mean, we can do whatever we want at this point unless he shows us something. He roared. This does kill. We are champions. We have beaten Steven, guys. This pretty much wraps up this series. Or this first season, I should say. So... Oh, man, I, yeah, Arceus lost a life at the end, but you know what? This is amazing, guys. We won, and only 33 minutes in, um, yeah, no, this is, this is absolutely amazing, guys. All right, I'm gonna, I may make another video, I may post stuff to see what you guys, but if you guys are watching this video right now, right? Comment down below what game you would like to see next for Pokemon Randomizer Real Edition. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys. Do not choose anything from Ultra Sun and Moon or higher. Because until I play those games for the first time on Pokemon Premier Journey, I will not play them on here. So you can choose any game except Omega Ruby and Omega Sapphire that's Sun and Moon or before. All right, guys, so comment down below what game you would like to see next for Pokemon Randomizer Real Edition. And yeah, guys, it's I'm so happy the series is kind of done this first season because no offense, I do love Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but I played it a ton. I played it two or three times uh, before I found my copy of Sun and Moon, or I guess in this case, it's Moon that I had from before. But I had it somewhere in storage and I couldn't find it, I was looking for it. So I was like, I, you know, every day I look through different uh, totes because I have so many of them. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I was reorganizing stuff, stuff was everywhere. And so I just kept playing Omega Ruby. And so why well, I, I started with this game mainly because Megas, I love the Megas, I love this game. 
you know, the next Pokemon Randomizer Real Edition, guys, you get to choose any single game that's Sun and Moon or earlier, except, of course, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, guys. So let me know in the comments. I will definitely be posting a post asking people to come watch this video to help decide because I only will be taking comments on this video. I'm going to give it a couple days, guys. So content might be a little slow on this unless I get some quick fire like, yeah, do this one, guys. You know, I get it. I get it. But yeah, no, I mean, what an insane team. And, you know, the only non-legendary or I guess pseudo on this team has a broken ability in no guard tyrantrum right there but tyrantrums you know we pretty much just have a really badass looking team right guys so i'm super happy about that hopefully you guys enjoy the series let me know again what pokemon game you'd like to see do next again anything sun and moon before or anything including sun and moon or before that also uh i guess no we'll make a ruby and no alpha sapphire but yeah, guys, uh, the team did great. I'm glad I got to use these guys. It's amazing. And yeah, we didn't lose any Mons. I've learned a lot from this first series, uh, first season and second season. There will be some changes. Um, some things, there will be a trade clause. I know we've talked about uh, that throughout the stream edition. This, some previous episodes of this. You know, uh, there's going to be some discussions about changes, and I already have changes in store for the second season. Uh, you know, trade clause, uh, redoing the randomized reel a little bit, depending on the season. Because obviously, if I go to ask to do, um, you know, Pokemon Sun and Moon, I need to add Gen 7. If you're like, oh, guy, uh, go play uh, Leaf Green, Fire Red. Well, guess what? I'd have to remove gen six and you know so i'd have to remove some gens so obviously guys uh this is amazing i'm not going to make you guys sit through all this i'll let it go thank you guys so much for watching again let me know what you guys would like to see next down in the comments down below and until next time tag out i want to give a special thank you to all my patreon members urza and scott you're amazing if you guys want to check out patreon and join it to get a shout out at the end check patreon down in the link description below and you can also like scott did Make me re-record this. So